Hey everyone, today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. I'm gonna go over every microphone in my microphone collection, in my mic locker. I'm gonna tell you guys what I like about them, each one differently. I'm gonna tell you what I use each of them for. Yeah, let's get into this. Now I'm gonna put links in the description below for every single one of these, so if you wanna check prices, if you wanna see additional specs or anything like that, check the links in the description below. Those links go to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is sponsoring this video, so thank you for sponsoring this video, Sweetwater, and anytime you need any piece of musical gear, you can check on, click on, click on any one of my links in any one of my videos, buy anything you need, and it goes a long ways to help support this channel, so I really appreciate the support from each and every one of you. I also have videos on some of these microphones already posted on the channel, so I'll link those down below as well. I guess we'll just start right in front of me. This is the Lawton Audio Atlantis. Uh, this is an enormous microphone, and the Atlantis thing, uh, kind of the Lawton Audio thing, is they have 38 millimeter capsules, gigantic capsules. This is a gigantic microphone. And basically this helps tame some of the harshness of a vocal so you can get a super clear, crispy, open vocal and it's much less harsh. These are, this is absolutely a wonderful microphone. I've been using it a ton lately. Uh, it is uh, cardioid, uh, omni, and figure eight. Uh, it has these mode switches, which is forward, new, forward, neutral, and gentle, and then it also has a pad built into it. Can't say enough good things about this microphone been using it on tons and tons of vocals lately. It's also really good on like acoustic guitar or acoustic instruments, anything that you want a open sound without any harshness. Next up, the Manly Reference Cardioid. Uh, this, this one is no stranger to you guys probably. This is a very, very, very famous microphone. It's been used on a million hits. This, the idea behind this was it was supposed to sound like a, uh, a Neumann 47 when it was new. I don't know that I'd quite go there with it, but it does have that kind of mid-range, upper mid-range push of a 47, but with the top end air and sizzle of like a C12. And so it's a, it's a very unique sounding microphone, very modern, very polished, fantastic on vocals, especially vocals in a, in a dense, aggressive thing, like in dense pop or rock and metal or like rock country, that sort of stuff. Sounds really good for this. I've used it on acoustic guitar with lots of good results, mainly reference cardioid. Let's go this way to the Neumann TLM 67. I said that this might be the most underrated microphone that Neumann makes. And I still actually think that because I don't hear people talk about the TLM 67 very often. I've got a whole video on this, I'll link it down below, where I compared this to a vintage U67. And they were not the same thing, but I was really, really surprised at how well this did next to that microphone. This one also is multi-pattern, so you get an Omni, a Cardioid, and a figure eight. And uh, I really like using this on Omni with a small diaphragm condenser for acoustic guitars. That's, uh, it sounds great on vocals, but that's one of my favorite things to use this one on. Let's go for the next Lawton Audio. This is the Lawton Audio Eden. This is Lawton Audio's flagship microphone. Full disclosure, I have not had this very long. I've only used it on a couple vocals, and the couple vocals I have used it on, it has been mind-bendingly good. Omni, Cardioid figure eight pickup patterns like the Lawton Audio Atlantis. We have the forward, neutral, and gentle switch. And basically, it sounds exactly what you would think it would sound. Forward is really close, lots of presence. Uh, neutral is a very even response. It sounds very even. And gentle is very kind of soft and vintage sounding. I don't know how they're doing that with these microphones, but that switch truly makes these sound like three different microphones. This one also has a high pass on it. And uh, the high pass is interesting. I don't know all the technical details, but the high pass is before the transformer or before the circuitry or something, and it basically completely changes the characteristics. So with the high pass in the most extreme setting, this gets really close to like a 251 sound, really modern, really airy and open top end, very light feeling. It's absolutely incredible. You flip it down to flat and it kind of sounds like a 47 without the upper mid-range push, nice and meaty and 
It's awesome. These, these are super, super versatile microphones, and I cannot say enough good things about them. Uh, only used it on acoustic or on vocals so far. I'm sure it sounds great on acoustic guitar as well, or overheads, or acoustic instruments, or piano, or I'm sure it sounds great on everything. Let's go for the Warm Audio uh, WACX12. This is a C12 copy. Uh, C12 is one of the most famous microphones in history. I have a full video on this, shooting it out with a vintage C12. And I was impressed with it. It was very, very close. It definitely does the C12 thing. On some sources, it was it, it was definitely different. And on other sources, I could almost not tell the difference. I think on the female vocal, uh, the particular female vocalist that I had in, I could almost not tell the difference. On drum overheads, there was definitely a difference. But I, th I can't remember what these cost, like $9.99 or something. So good bang for buck if you're looking for a C12 style microphone. Let's go super unique. This is a microphone by a company called Trash Talk Audio, and it is exactly what it looks like. It is a telephone microphone. <laughs> this is a super, super unique sounding, and you cannot replicate this with plugins or filters or distortion. This has a sound that is just all its own, and I, I can't, it's very, very cool and it's not very expensive. It has a quarter inch output. The output is very, very low. So you have to use a, a good clean, uh, you have to use a DI and a good clean preamp. But for that telephone effect, I mean, it's it's literally, it's that. Let's go up here for the Royer R121. Perhaps one of the most famous ribbon microphones, uh, certainly one of the most famous ribbon microphones for recording electric guitar. Ribbon microphones have a figure eight pickup pattern. Uh, this one is very, very good at high SPL. I've used these on overheads with good results too, um, but one of my favorite guitar cabinet microphones, full stop, incredible microphone. And lately, for the, about the past three or four years, I've been pairing this with the Bayer Dynamic M201. Now, this is a dynamic microphone, uh, and it is on the pricier side for a dynamic microphone. It's definitely a high-end dynamic microphone. I think these are like $399 maybe, but these two together, it's guitar tone heaven. Like this, this, is, this is the move right here. I've been tracking just about just about every guitar. It's been for the past like four years, at least four years, this has been my setup. So can't say enough good things about the Bayer Dynamic M201 and the Royer R121. Let's go for the pair of Neumann KM184s. Now these are small diaphragm condensers. These are very, very small microphones. They sound absolutely lovely. Uh, I have the matched pair of them. I've been using them for acoustic guitar. Um, I've used them for overheads. I've used them for pretty much any acoustic instrument. I've used these for piano. I did a Steinway grand piano with these with wonderful results. Um, they're magnificent microphones. Pro tip on these, do not pull these out of the clip this way. You have to, you have to slide them in and you're gonna get mic marks on your microphone because if you try to pull them out and you try to s like snap them in, you're gonna break the mic clip. I've done that. And these mic clips are like $130 or $160, shockingly expensive mic clips. So if you have a pair of these, make sure you slide them. It's kind of a bummer that it's gonna scar everything up, but that's how it works. Great microphones. Uh, I've had these for a long, long time and they're wonderful. Let's change it up a little bit. And this is the Sennheiser MKE 400. This is the microphone that lives on my camera when I'm doing vlog stuff. If I have, if it's any shot other than this talking head shot, this is the microphone that I'm using right here. Uh, it has lots of rejection. It's super small, has like a 300 hour battery life. It turns off and on with your camera when you turn it off and on. It has some different switches there and a built-in headphone jack. Love this microphone for anything video. While we're on video right now, this microphone that you're hearing right now is the Sennheiser uh, 416. Now just about all of these talking headshots you've seen on this channel for the past year or so has been through this microphone. Really like industry standard shotgun microphone. Sounds great on anything that you would ever need a shotgun microphone for. Next up, the Shure Beta 57. Now, personally, 
I actually like the Beta 57 better than the 57 for everything. I like it better on snare drum. I like it better on guitars. Anything that you would use a 57 for, I like the Beta 57 better. Uh, I've had this one for a really, really long time. Wonderful microphone. And while we're on the 57 thing, you know, you do have the classic Shure SM57 here. This one happens to have my name printed on it. Sure gave me this at a meeting that I have with them. Uh, thank you very much, Sure. The 57 is one of the most famous microphones in history. Snare drum, guitars, people have used it for vocals. Uh, it is definitely one of, if not the most recorded microphone in history. Let's switch gears and go podcast, broadcast, voiceover style. Sure SM7B, although you, I use this for vocals as well. This is a really great microphone for screamers, for metal, any sort of screaming or growly stuff, it's great for that. Uh, this is a really great classic rock uh, vocal microphone sound. And obviously it's a wonderful podcast and voiceover microphone. This one has been modded uh, with the Trace Audio Answer mod. And so you've got a few controls here that really help out a lot and the output is like tripled on this. It's very, very loud. You don't need a line booster or anything with this mod. I'll link Trace Audio down below as well. So you can buy these modded right from them already, or you can buy the mod from them and install it yourself, or you can send your microphone to them and have it modded. I cannot recommend that mod enough. It's really, really useful on the SM7B. I have a whole video on that as well. I'll link it down below. Look at that spaceship. Isn't that a wild looking microphone? This is the Lewitt Audio LCT 1040. This is Lewitt Audio's flagship microphone. Uh, I did a whole video on it. You can check it out down below. The The power supply is one of the coolest parts about this, fe this microphone, actually. You, the power supply breaks in half, and so the actual power supply is uh, stays in the room with the microphone. And then via XLR, you connect the actual control panel uh, and you can set the control panel anywhere else. So you can set it right next to you in the control room, have access to all the controls. It's a very, very unique designed microphone uh, and it's very versatile sounding as well. Every, every single thing on the microphone has, they're all quick releases and so that's very cool. Uh, it sounds great, uh, sounds good on acoustic guitar, sounds good on vocals. I'm sure it would be great on overheads or anything else. It has a continuously variable pickup pattern all the way from Omni all the way over to figure eight. Very, very cool microphone. Next up, the Lawton Audio LA 220. Now I uh, actually mentioned these in most affordable studio gear video that I posted four or five videos ago that I hadn't used these yet, but I thought that these probably would win for the best budget microphone, uh, budget large diaphragm condenser on the market. And so Lawton Audio sent me a pair of them. Uh, thank you Lawton Audio for sending these out for me to test. We, I have used these on drum overheads and they are absolutely fantastic on drum overheads. I have tested these out with my voice only and they sound lovely for that. I think these are like 349 or 399 and they are really, really great sounding for that price range. Uh, you've got a couple different options here for you got a high pass and a low pass, so that way if they're too bright, you can darken them up. If they're too dark, you can brighten them up. It's kind of lot in Audio's thing. They always have a bunch of different uh, options in terms of tweaking the sound right on the microphone, which is very, very cool. Uh, Lawton Audio LA220 large diaphragm condensers. Let's go super old school for me. This is the Brauner Pantera, Panthera, however you're supposed to say that. This is one of my oldest vocal microphones. This was the first like, higher end microphone that I ever had. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I don't even think they make it anymore, but it's all made in Germany. The capsule's handmade in-house. It is very bright and very sizzly and very modern sounding. Modern's a better way to put it than, than bright. It is very similar actually to the Manly Reference Cardioid, just without the mid-range push that like a 47 has or like the Manly has. So it's very modern, very uh, top endy, very airy, but this was one of the first like truly like higher end professional microphones that I've ever bought. 
I, it's gonna stay around forever because every once in a while I pull it back out and it's it's super cool sounding. Let's go back to small diaphragm condensers. These are the Lawton Audio LA220s. If you guys can't tell, I've really kind of fallen in love with these Lawton Audio microphones. They're really, really good. And the less expensive ones are really good in bang for the buck. So these are small diaphragm condensers. Uh, I can't remember what these go for, but they're, they're very affordable. I'll put links down below. And again, you have high passes and low passes built right into them. So you can change the character of the microphone. If they're too bright, you can darken them up. If they're too dark, you can brighten them up. And uh, they're very, very versatile. I've used these on overheads and acoustic guitar, both with great results. So check those out. Link in description. Let's see. We've got a few more that I haven't talked about. This is the Dave Perlman TM-47. This is just a classic reproduction of the Neumann U-47. I've had this for a really long time as well, maybe nine years now, uh, and it's great. I've used it next to some other 47 type microphones and I do like this one a whole lot. It still gets used when I'm looking for that classic 47 vintage si sort of vibe. That, it's great, great microphone, no options on it, no switches, you, you don't get to change anything. It just it just is what it is. Let's talk about a super unique microphone here. So this is a DJI uh, video mic. I think that's the name of it. I'll link it down below as well. And when you open the case here, it has, oops, when you open the case here, you can see all these little things set in here. So these are two different wireless transmitters that are lavaliers. And this is the wireless receiver that goes right on the camera. You literally just pop these out they charge and they record internal and they record to your camera. So you have a backup and they have a little magnets and a little clip. So you just clip it right on your shirt. Um, these are super, super awesome. In terms of lavalier setups, you can also, it has a built-in microphone or you can plug a wired lavalier into it and then this becomes your belt pack, smallest belt pack in the world. Uh, but anyway, this is a super, super well thought out pr uh, product, super well thought out microphone for any time you need any sort of lavalier source. They have my uh, magnets built onto them, so you can put them under your shirt and magnet them there. Just, yeah, this is a very, very well thought out design for anything lavalier that you need. Let's go over here to the Mojave MAD. Uh, this is a dynamic microphone, great for live vocals, great for your uh, electric guitar. Uh, I have not used it a ton, but I've had it for a little while and it is a good, good live microphone option. That is for sure. Not for sure, but for sure. Not sure the microphone company, just for sure. <laughs> uh, this is the Deity D3 Pro on-camera microphone. It's a rechargeable battery. It's got built-in high passes, adjustable volume. Uh, it is a shotgun microphone. Sounds really, really good for on-camera microphones. Uh, I dig it a lot. This is the Shure M MV7, I think. I'm pretty sure this is a Shure MV7. Uh, XLR and USB microphone. I have a whole video comparing this to the SM7B, so be sure to check that out. A uh, good, affordable, really affordable podcast, broadcast style microphone. And in that same vein, we have the Lawton Audio LS, yes, LS208. I actually just did my first podcast with this. This is a, a condenser broadcast microphone. And just like their other microphones, you've got the switches to adjust the character built right in there, which is awesome. Uh, super robust feeling, but it is a condenser broadcast microphone and it sounds incredible. Uh, I will likely start using this to film some of these videos because it's it sounds really, really good for any of that stuff. It's supposed to sound great on electric guitar as well. I'm sure it's good on anything you would use a broadcast SM7 style microphone on, uh, but I have not tried that out yet. This is the Rode Video Mic Go on-camera microphone. Uh, this is probably the best budget option for an on-camera microphone. I think these are a hundred bucks. Uh, you can plug it in via USB, change the settings, but it is passive and runs off of your camera. So that way you don't have to worry about batteries or recharging anything. And the cheapest option, this is the Ceramonic V-Mic Mini. Uh, really, really, this is probably the best, I think these are $49.99. Uh, this is probably the best actual budget option for an on-camera microphone. Did I miss anything? I think that's it. There's a couple more that I have loaned out and I, I don't even remember what all they are. But anyway, 
that's my microphone collection. If you have any questions about that, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this one. That really, really helps when you guys give a thumbs up and leave a comment and I very much appreciate it. Tap the bell next to the subscribe tab so that way you get notified when I upload new videos and don't forget to hit links in description for every single one of these. That's gonna take some time, I'm just realizing, to actually get links for every one of these. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.